This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday evening, the 29th of October. I'm James Spann. A warm day tomorrow. Storms returning Thursday night. When will the rain begin? What about the severe weather potential? As always, we'll see if we can come up with the answers as we begin by looking out the window. The SkyCam Network this afternoon, the first off view coming from Birmingham. That's looking north in the top, top of the Daniel Building. The sky there partly sunny. Very similar sky down in uh, Chilton County at Clanton. And up north, that's our sky cam in Huntsville, looking toward the Space and Rocket Center. And, uh, boy, how about that? Uh, fall colors. Wow. I took that picture. I was coming into work today and thought, man, this stuff's starting to look good. Uh, that was right by the ABC 3340 studio in River Chase today about uh, 2.30 this afternoon. Pretty mild day for late October. Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, 78. Look at Montgomery. They've got 82. And a chance we see 80 tomorrow. But up north, it is really cold. I mean, they're below freezing at mid-afternoon over parts of Montana and the Dakotas. And we will see noticeably cooler air in here by the weekend. And during the transition, some storms to deal with. Up on the watch warning map, things relatively quiet. A few pockets of winter weather issues out in the western mountains. Uh, I do note, just as I'm doing this update, the Weather Service in Little Rock is posting a flash flood watch for parts of Arkansas as some heavy rain will be developing uh, north and west of the state. In terms of severe weather, the SPC guys have taken out the risk for today and tonight. Tomorrow, there is a slight risk of severe weather. That's the standard risk from near Abilene and Fort Worth, Texas, up to Oklahoma City, Wichita, Kansas, almost to Omaha, Nebraska. Day three, this is Thursday and Thursday night, a risk of severe weather from the Piney Woods of East Texas up to near Cincinnati. And that includes northwest Alabama. And within that, there is an enhancement. That 30% uh, circle just clips the northwest tip of the state around the shoals. Uh, that is where the greater chance of any tornado activity would be. And that would be more than likely late Thursday afternoon or early Thursday night. As the storms move in here, we expect them to weaken. And the tornado threat here is, is pretty low, which is good. But we'll take a look at the new modeling here in just a minute. And the QPF chart, rain for the next uh, five days. This carries us through Sunday morning at 7 o'clock. Rain amounts of about 1 to 1 and a half inches Thursday night into Friday morning. And the tropics are very quiet. About one month left in the Atlantic hurricane season, and so far the season has been a dud. And nobody's griping about that. Folks at least live on the, the Gulf and the Atlantic coast of the United States. Let's take a look at the GFS. This is the... 12Z run valid tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock local time. This is at 500 millibars, upper high over the Gulf, deep trough in the west. And down below that will stay dry and a warm day, the high around 80 with a partly sunny sky, a 1,004 millibar low developing on the Kansas-Nebraska border with a trailing batch of showers and storms. But again, tomorrow will be dry. This is Thursday. Trough getting closer. Down below that, the surface low deepens to 993 millibars near Madison, Wisconsin. With a trailing front, you can see heavy rain developing during the day Thursday. Places like Memphis, uh, maybe Jackson, Monroe, Louisiana. And that rain is trying to creep in here Thursday afternoon up in the northwestern tip of the state. Let's go to Thursday evening at 7 o'clock. And again, this is the GFS. And the model has the rain down to about Interstate 5920. Uh, so for the trick-or-treaters, the, the, quite frankly, from Birmingham north and west, it looks wet. From Birmingham uh, south and east, you might be able to squeeze it in. It's going to be a very close call, but I'm afraid as you go north and west of Birmingham, rain could begin 6, 7 o'clock Thursday evening. You better do that trick-or-treating really early. Uh, and this is uh, just after midnight, 1 a.m. Friday, and the rain is solidly in here. Now, we've got the high-res NAM. Uh, this is uh, out 60 hours. This is valid Thursday evening at 7 o'clock. So there you go. If you're trying to plan a trick-or-treat outdoor-type event, uh, maybe this will help. Uh, this is not the gospel. The weather might not do this. This is just model output, but typically the high-res NAM is pretty good. Uh, 7 o'clock Thursday evening, it's got heavy rain falling in places like Hamilton, Haleyville, Huntsville, Moulton, Decatur, uh, the rain just beginning to move into Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, and Gadsden. So, again, you know, if you're east or south of Birmingham, I think you'll get the stuff in Thursday evening. If you're north and west, it looks awfully wet and maybe stormy. 
So what about severe weather possibilities? Let's look. This is the instability coming off that same model. This is off the high-res NAM, and it's basically got hardly any surface-based instability here. I mean, the, the, the capes are barely above zero uh, over North Alabama, and that certainly bodes well. Um, but if you look at the bigger picture, the higher capes are still back in Arkansas, and even there, the, the instability value is not all that impressive. Uh, the helicity values are pretty high. This is the zero to one kilometer storm relative helicity, uh, valid Thursday evening at 7 o'clock. But again, the big numbers are still north and west of here, and they they, they weaken as, as they, and the shear values come down as you move into Alabama. Uh, there's the bulk shear. Uh, this is between the surface and 925 millibars. Well, you see that 30 knots of, of shear in that really low level uh, like that, uh, that's where you might have a tornado or two. So again, Thursday afternoon, places like Memphis, Greenville, Mississippi. Don't be shocked if you see a tornado warning or two coming out of there. And I guess it's possible maybe the northwestern tip of the state around the shoals. But as you go south and east of Muscle Shoals, the tornado threat really drops off in Alabama. Um, and here's a look at the uh, low-level jet, still 50 knots coming through. So really no major change from our morning thinking. Uh, the main window for storms, 6, 7 o'clock tomorrow evening until about midday Friday. Severe weather threat, pretty marginal for Alabama. The better chance up in the northwestern corner. The main tornado threat, West Tennessee, North Mississippi. All right, this is Friday at midday. Showers and storms are generally south of US 80. As dry air begins to work in here, and, sat and the rain should be gone easily in time for high school football. There's Saturday, a breezy and much cooler day. Highs drop in the 60s with a stiff north breeze. Sky should be mostly sunny. Sunday morning, we head down for 40 degrees, maybe 30s in colder pockets. Sunday should be a sunny day, and again, the high in the 60s. So Sunday will feel cool and crisp. First weekend of November. Monday of next week, the winds veer to the south. This is a week from today. New storm gathering strength off to the west. More big storms maybe for Texas and Oklahoma. And then this is uh, the following day. This is Wednesday of next week, the 6th of November. That's a big uh, full latitude trough coming in here, and that would suggest the weather could be kind of stormy out there uh, by the middle part of next week. So a uh, next round of storms, middle of next week, uh, Wednesday, maybe packing a punch. And then following that, this is Friday of next week, Friday the 8th of November, turning cool again. That's pretty cold. The 540 line down to Nashville. That's a good shot of cold air coming down the pike. Very typical for November, very changeable. You might have 80 degrees one day. You know, a few days later, you're down there at the freezing mark. That's the way it works around here. This is mid-month, uh, November 14th, 588 Ridge over the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, down below that, it's quite a contrast. The air would be relatively warm here with pretty cold air up north. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless. Hey, we're Trey and Melody Lover, and we're the host of Undone Redone, the podcast where we're not afraid to look around through the lens of messy. And we're very qualified to talk about messy. Trey and I were married for 11 years and divorced for six years and have been remarried for five years. And we love to bring people on the show that can talk about their own undone, redone message. So look for us on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. We'd love to have you tune in. Also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash undone, redone. Tune in, the show where we talk about the messiness of life.